We're at the home of Eric Fitzpatrick, an incredibly talented artist right here in Southwest Virginia. And today he's gonna give us a tour of his home and let's just say this is not your average home. It's great to see you again, my friend. Thank you. Welcome to my house. The minute you walk into Eric Fitzpatrick's house, you can tell that it is special. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas all year long. So they're up always? Always. And when you come in, you sort of have a festive feel before you even enter the house, and I sort of like that. Ordinary is not part of Eric's vocabulary, lifestyle, or his fireplace. This is my fireplace, and it was the most boring fireplace in the world for years. Just sort of bricks and red brick, and it did have some vents, though. So at one point, I took the vents off and painted it, and then I got this idea, like, the vents, those little nice empty spaces could be balconies and doors. So then, once I had that idea, I turned it into an Italian villa. So using things from his late father's workshop, he created this fireplace villa as an ode to the man that raised him. This was after he was gone. I realized later this was a big valentine to my father, basically, because I loved him so much. Eric's imaginative, fun, and creative personality is evident throughout his entire home. And his dining room combines his love for the arts and humor. There's so, a horse on the table. There he is. Obviously. Yeah, yeah. And what do horses do? They eat. And they... Do that. And they do that. Exactly. Right there on the middle of the dining room table. That is my favorite piece in the whole house. It might be mine too. <laughs> okay, you got your chandelier here. Yeah, isn't that cool? Yes. That's all the stuff from the studio that was too cool to throw away once it had outlived its usefulness. So you have brushes and things that had gotten stiff over time. You know, you couldn't right. actually carry paint with them, but they're just so cool. You can't throw them away. Yeah. I had all these 45 records and the ceiling needed something. It was sort of cracking. It was really... You know, it's just sort of boring, and I thought, well, you know, I can make a spiral galaxy out of 45 records, and it would be really interesting. Yes. And there's no one here to stop me. One of the best parts about this home is Eric comes up with the idea and just does it. He improves the mundane with originality and covers up the imperfections with creativity. When the bathtub upstairs overflowed and made a stain in the room below... So I called the guys, the insurance guys, and said, yes, we can replace it all, but we'll have to tear out everything in the room. And I thought, no, no, we're not going to do that. I'll think of something. And that was it. And you thought, I'm going to put a picnic on the ceiling. And why not? <laughs> I mean, it seemed like a good idea at the time. But the hard part was to get the bottles. I was going to say, yeah. I, I get nervous standing a little bit closer to them. Well, I would too if I were you. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Eric's backyard garden was designed with Italy in mind. He wanted to have a beautiful and peaceful place to be with a few quirks as well including a hidden room that leads out to the alley. Little kids, I love to show them this because they're all like, oh, that cave, this is magic. <laughs> you know, they love that. Wow. And I do too, it brings out the little kid in me. It is magic. And the magic continues throughout his whole property. The side of Eric's house has been transformed into a Caribbean style bar. The walls are covered from top to bottom with postcards, clocks, neon signs, and a basic bar, babe. So now we're in the studio. Right. So this is where you work? This is where I work. This is where you always work? Always. The studio is set up into different workstations depending on the type of work being done. So this is where all watercolors will be done on this big slanted drawing board. It's slanted so the water runs down at a predictable rate when you're doing it. When Eric is out at an event on vacation or just around town, he carries supplies to draw, just in case he gets some inspiration. You're sort of trying to grab every image possible and paint it and then you bring it back to a studio, usually, and paint it uh, right in the studio if you're not working on location. Are you doing this in the moment? At or a funeral, not in the moment, but right afterwards. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I don't want people to You're think, just like, wow, yeah, this would make yeah. a great painting. Yeah, everybody stay still. I think I'm going to sketch. No, you can't do that. <laughs> you, know? you can't do that. So I'll do it from memory as soon like I come out of the thing, I get in my car, and I just draw like crazy from memory because it's still fresh enough to do that. And Eric keeps all of the sketches that he's done. So all these, yes, all these are sketchbooks from over the years, literally thousands and thousands of sketches. And when he travels, he saves objects from his favorite places. Rocks from around the world, Athens and Rome or whatever, particular places. Oh, that's cool. Isn't that neat though? Yeah. Yeah, so a lot of good memories there. He is a collector of memories destined for art from his beginning. Yeah, I was always drawing. Okay. And mom and dad, they knew years ahead of me that I was going to be an artist because they saw this happening in like the kids drawing all the time. And they would give me paper and stuff and try to encourage me, but 
At that point, I was still going out, you know, in sports on a sunny day. You want to be outside doing stuff. So I wasn't, I didn't have the work ethic then, but it came later in a real way. And now I don't think there's anybody that works harder at it because I love it so much, yeah. you know? I really do. It lights me up. Eric Fitzpatrick is an undeniably talented artist, but he is so much more than that. He is welcoming, personable, hilarious, and just a true joy to be around. Would you like to try on a hat? There are plenty of them. I would always like to try on a hat. I'll put this guy on right here and think, my mother always taught me if you put on a hat, you know, you give it this little. Yeah. Oh, a tilt. A little tilt gives it that extra little style, evidently. So there we go. We look fantastic. Thank you. Thank you so much. I think we do too. And there are more hats here. For those of you out there who want to try on hats, give me a call. There are a bunch of them. What do you think? I, I definitely want to try on a hat. And he's inspired me to do something with my ceiling. Now I know what to do with the stains. <laughs> Just put a picnic on the ceiling. What do you think about that? That's I know. Great. He really, I, I love going to his home and just like talking to him. It's, oh, yeah. It's incredible just walking through. Mm -hmm. You could spend so much time just looking at everything. Yes, and that and backyard he makes with all that of garden. It. Oh gosh, yeah, it's I spend all day there. And Eric really hopes that his work inspires others to explore their more creative side. And if you want more information on Eric and his art, you can of course check out his Facebook page. Tell him we sent you. So talented.